The Unified Modeling Language provides diagrams to illustrate the names of use cases, the actors, and the relationships between those two. Measured by Requirements Model the use case diagrams and use case relationships fall into secondary category. Primarily, use cases are text documents. Doing use case work means describing cases in text form. It is best to downplay use case diagrams and relationships, and instead focus on writing. Draw a simple use case diagram, in connection with an actor goal list. Primary actors on the left, and supporting actors, on the right side. For a use case context diagram, limit the use cases to simple user goal level. Show computer system actor with an alternate notation, compared to human actor in case drawing. There is nothing object-oriented about use cases in functional requirements. When describing use cases we are not doing object-oriented analysis. This is not a defect, but a point of clarification. Indeed, use cases are a broadly applicable tool in requirements analysis. That can apply to non-object-oriented projects which also increases overall usefulness of the requirements analysis method. However, as we find out, the use cases are critical input into a classic object-oriented analysis and design activities. Use case-driven development implies a number of useful approaches to modeling the business. Requirements are primarily recorded in a form of use cases. This is recorded as use case model. Use cases are important part of iterative planning. Later, use case realizations drive the design process. In order to perform or realize the use cases, the team of programmers designs collaborating objects and subsystems. Our documentation often begins with a set of major features related to product or business under development. The major point of sale system features may include services such as follows. The sale capture in store. Payment authorization. Inventory management. Automatic reordering. And, possibly, web-based shopping. Sometimes second-level features are essentially equivalent to the use case names. This is because the name often includes everything that use case needs to proceed successfully. The following tips are important to keep in mind regarding system glossary or dictionary. Start the glossary early. In its simplest form, the glossary is a list of noteworthy terms and corresponding definitions. It is surprisingly common that a term, often technical, or particular to the domain may be used in slightly different ways. This needs to be resolved to reduce problems in communication and ambiguous requirements. Glossaries can also play a role of the data dictionary. Such phenomenon becomes the metadata, or the information about the data itself. Dictionary attributes could include aliases such as description, storage format, type, data length, and units of measurement. Dictionary attributes could also include relationships between dictionary elements, range of values, and validation rules. 